welcome back to my channel if you're true to this not new to this welcome but if this is your first time here we welcome you one time we welcome you two times we welcome you three times to the zero community you are welcome you can tell by the title i'm going to be using my dyson complete long diffuse air wrap what is it called child hold on y'all it's supposed to be the dyson air wrap that's natural hair friendly i'm going to be using the Dyson Air Wrap Multi Styler and Dryer Complete Long Diffuse. That's what we're using in today's video. I have reviewed it before a little bit on TikTok. I'll link it up in my cards. I might have linked one of them in my YouTube shorts, but I'll definitely link both videos down below in the description box. The first time I used it was on my sister's hair. It did really, really well. And so I had to run it back and see how it would do on my hair. And so I really truly really loved it, but this time I wanted to kind of try out some of the other attachments because I don't really use the wide tooth comb and the round brush. So let me give you guys a little bit of detail about this product in case you don't know what it is that I'm talking about. So I'm going to read all some of the description about the product, but basically the Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler and Dryer Complete Long. I have mine in the color nickel, I want to say. And with the new barrels to curl and wave in different directions, brushes to control and shape. That's just a little bit of what it has on the website. It is a little pricey, okay? It is a little pricey. Online right now, it's saying $599. $599, in case y'all don't believe me. It's saying $599. But anyways, let's review it. So, I do have mine already out of the box. It comes in this little carrier, which is huge. I don't know if you guys can tell, like, how big it is. It's so nice. I absolutely love it. It's just cushions on the inside. It has, like, little dividers on the inside as well. Um, so let me show you guys what I have and on the side of the screen I'll like insert the name of the attachment and what it's supposed to do. First I have, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but the first one I have is a Condona Smoothing Dryer. It's a two-in-one attachment to dry damp hair and smooth finish styles. Next we have the 1.2 inch air wrap, supposed to create voluminous waves or curls in both directions. Next we have the soft smoothing brush. This is supposed to create straight styles and finer hair. It does have bristles. Pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy. It also comes with a large round volumizing brush, which is basically like a round brush. This has long fine bristlets that direct air deep into the hair to deliver volume and body creating tension to shape the hair as it dries. The next attachment that comes with this is the wide tooth comb. This is supposed to help detangle and lengthen hair as it dries and this is engineered for curly and coily hair. I've used this one before as well and I really really like it. It also comes with a diffuser. I don't have it with me right now. It's a summer child but it's not in my little box right now. And it's supposed to stimulate natural drying by dispersing air evenly around your curls, helping to reduce frizz and define curls and waves. I have yet to use a diffuser, but I'm planning to do a wash and go since it is, you know, about to be spring. And I want to see what it's giving. I want to see it's giving that zap. And it also comes with like a filter cleaning brush. Let me see if I have that. And you use the filter cleaning brush to ensure your air wrap filter is clean in between uses. I probably should start using this. I've used this blow dryer twice so far and I have yet to use it. And lastly, I do have the little barrel piece that you attach all the attachments to. I'm going to show you guys it up close. Um, it does come with the different air speeds on this side, the different temperature on this side, and then this is like on or off. It has like a long extension cord. So I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking about the product, but let me demonstrate the product to you, right? Let me show you what it's giving. And I'm sorry that it's like so dark over there. I don't want to turn like my exhaust fan on and then you guys can't hear me. So bear with me in the lighting, please and thank you. I am starting on freshly washed hair. The only product that I have in my hair right now is the Issa 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using it for years. And yeah, especially if I'm doing like a blow dry hairstyle, I like to use light and airy leave-in conditioners to keep the volume and body within my hair when I blow dry it. And so the heat protectant that I am going to be using is the Pattern Heat Protectant. This is my first time using it, so I'm I'm a little nervous, child. I'm a little nervous. I can't even lie. Let me see what it smells like. I feel like most pattern beauty stuff don't really smell like anything. Yeah. This doesn't have no scent, y'all. Um, after I wash my hair, just give you a little background, I like to plait it up 
And then I put this microfiber towel from Pattern. I will link everything down below that I am mentioning. But yeah, I like to use that microfiber towel to kind of wring some of the water out. But it didn't really do too much. It's probably been like, what, an hour since I washed my hair? So I like to bring my hair up because it helps to kind of get rid of some of that water to decrease my drying time, if that makes any sense. All right, I'm trying to think, you guys. Which attachment do I want to use first? I... I kind of want to try this, the little barrel one. So we're going to try that. I'm going to just like kind of stretch my hair out this way. And then I'm going to go in with the round brush. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll try different sections with different pieces to kind of give you guys a more detailed explanation of what, what these attachments are giving. So this is my hair with the braid taken down. A little bit of definition. But as you can see, it's still pretty wet. All right, so it says to spray at six to eight inches evenly throughout each section. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm intrigued to see how this heat protectant does. I also forgot to mention to you guys on the back of the barrel part, it does have, I don't know if you can tell, like a lock and unlock, and that is just to make sure that your attachment is secure. So you just grab your barrel and whatever attachment, and you really just like push it in there, and you should hear a click. There we go. Y'all probably didn't hear the click, but. And then if I wanted to take it out, I would just push it down and take it out that way. But. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to put this on like high heat because I'm not trying to take all day long. But I'm gonna let you hear a little bit of what the blow dryer sounds like. This part is looking like so far that barrel I kind of just really used it to stretch my hair first before I went in with like more attachments that would be more tedious on my hair but this is what it's looking like it's just a little stretch look a little stretch look but I'm gonna be honest with y'all I don't really plan on using this one anymore throughout it if I'm being honest with y'all oh it twists I didn't know that I really like the wide tooth comb so I'm gonna use this and then use my brown brush to kind of smooth and really make it as straight as possible for my next hair so that I plan to do. So I just finished using the wide tooth comb and I don't know if you can tell, it did get it a little more straighter in a sense with the blow drying, but ignore my ends chat, I didn't realize how bad my ends needed to be trimmed. But this is what it looks like so far. I think I am gonna go in with the round brush. I don't wanna keep going in with too much heat, so I'm trying to decide, do I wanna stick to the round brush or do I wanna stick to doing this one first on like a low temperature? I don't know, I'm just like trying to figure out what it is that I wanna do. But I'm gonna use the round brush next, so I'm just going to press that down, take it off, and then just snap this one on. I feel like this is probably the straightest it's gonna get right now but yeah this is just what the first piece is looking like ignore again I need to get my inch trimmed I didn't realize it was that bad so I'm gonna see how much time it takes me to get through this quarter portion and then I'll be right back with you guys
So I'm just going to start with the wide tooth comb and then make my way to the round brush. I just finished one fourth of my hair as you can see and it only took me a little around nine minutes and 12 seconds and with that I was pausing it to change the attachments because I was having to do it with like one hand so I'm just going to go over the section on cool and then braid it up and then do the rest of my head when doing the cool setting to you know seal my cuticles and whatnot after using heat I kind of want to try this brush we're gonna see what it's giving right but there's little dots red for hot blue for cool so i'm just gonna move it down to blue all right that brush actually did a really good job and i don't know if that's because my hair is already pretty much like stretched so the brush flew by i'm gonna have to try it on a section where my hair is not stretched yet and we're gonna have to see what it's given comment down below would you consider purchasing the dyson airwrap complete long diffuse despite the price despite the price being a whopping six hundred dollars would you invest in it i personally i really like it i would say it doesn't get my hair as bone straight as like that paddle um blow dryer brush you know the pink and black one it doesn't get my hair as straight as that but obviously like even when i get like a silk press my hairstylist uses two different type of blow dryers like she'll use like one with like the comb attachment first and then she'll use um like a padded brush blow dryer to kind of you know smooth over it for a little under 10 minutes to do this whole back section y'all this whole back section in 10 minutes crazy crazy that that brush is eating in terms of like how straight it is compared to when I use the wide tooth comb. I think I am still gonna go over it with the round brush just to kind of get it a little more sleek. Baby, I feel like that did what it needed to do. This is not as short as I would want it if I was doing a soap press by any means, but it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. <sighs> Y'all, this is a process, but I just finished blow drying this section and doesn't it look a little more like tamer or flatter, I guess, as opposed to the back side that I get. But this is the side. It got body. We truly do love to see it. I want to say that I really truly do love the brush a little better than the Y2 comb. I'm like, girl, why haven't you been using the brush? I just feel like it's making my hair look a lot more smoother. I feel like the Y2 comb dries faster because of the surface area, but the brush, I feel like, gives you more concentration because of the little bristles that are a part of it. Sorry, my finger. It's just like numb from the heat. Because this thing does get really hot. Like the gray part on the attachments gets pretty hot. Hot. Like if you don't touch like the little copper parts when changing the adjustment, you'll get burnt touching all this. So I've done half my head. I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then I'll come back and give you like my closing remarks on, on how the Dyson Airwrap Complete Long Diffuse did using the brush and like just my little tips and tricks that I picked up over my two uses. <laughs> Alright series, so this is the finishing touches of me blow drying my hair with that Dyson. When I tell y'all, I am so tired. 
don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. I've been doing my hair all day. But anyways, this is the finishing results. I just put these little pattern beauty clips right here because I thought they were just like so cute and just to kind of keep my hair out of my face because I am about to style it for a whole separate video. So there's that in and of itself. But I did go back over it one more time on the cool setting with the brush and I feel like it really kind of smoothed everything out to make it look more uniform. Moving forward, I am going to use the firm brush along with the round brush to blow my hair out. I feel like it gives me the best results in the shortest amount of time along with using the cool settings to kind of like shock my cuticles close, if that makes sense. Um, definitely 10 out of 10, I really feel like it's worth the investment. Is it a lot? Yes, and I wish I had a coupon code to give you guys, but I don't, but definitely, you know, you can monitor it and see if it ever goes on sale. But honestly, truly, I do feel like with certain items, it, if you have the means, it would be nice to invest and higher quality things. Not, not saying that there's not other glue dryers that you can use, but I don't know if you know you want to give it a try. Definitely give it a try. I've heard really good things about Dyson air wraps in general. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a video. And that really helps me out a lot. And welcome to the Zurich community. We would love to have you. Okay, we are growing. We are flourishing over here, okay? But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.